Hi there, I'm John from cncroi.com and today I'm going to show you how I made this. You might be saying to yourself, well this looks pretty easy. All you did was cut a piece of wood, stick it in the laser, take it out, and he's about to ship it to America pretty soon. Actually that's why we're so different. I set up cncri.com to be a high-end custom CNC shop. We're not a trophy shop. That means that we take a lot of extra steps when we do something to make sure it's accurate and actually we get the, the, the most optimal results we could possibly get. For instance, we didn't just engrave this. If you look at the animation, you'll see first it was sanded down um, and then we engraved it in, but you'll notice we put a mask over it. I don't have to put a mask over this. I could always sand the extra stuff that comes off afterwards. But the results are so much nicer if you put a mask over it. It helps uh, speed up production, but also the results are much uh, cleaner and more uh, thorough throughout. Another thing you'll notice in the video is that I made a secondary pass outlining every little letter along the border all the way around. Now that final step is very, very important in addition to the mask. Because when you go back over the letter, what you're actually doing is engraving a little bit deeper than the initial engraving. And what that does is, it gives you that extra little bit of contrast that you'll notice around the letters. And again, this is something that you probably wouldn't notice until you actually see these things side by side. Um, I did a video earlier here on cncroi.com to show the difference between them. And it's quite noticeable. Then what we do is put a couple coats of uh, clear acrylic on it and then it's pretty much done. Uh, before that we do a little bit of an additional sanding just to make sure we get that nice shine but it also helps seal the wood so that there isn't any additional cracking or you know if somebody spills something on it they actually clean it off. Because these engravings here are still, it's still live wood basically. So if anything goes inside of it um, it's very hard to still absorb it. But if you seal, seal everything up um, it has a more difficult time getting into it. So let's take a look at how this 50th anniversary plaque was made. enjoyed watching the video of this being engraved and then a uh, little bit cut with the laser. That's basically what it's doing. So we're going to cut line around all the letters. Now once again, why can we do this? Uh, the reason is the precision of our laser. We don't have a Chinese laser. We have an Austrian CNC laser. Um, imported from Austria obviously. 
and it's made for industrial production. Now because of those specifications, we could actually go over something a thousand times and always be dead on at the exactly the same spot. If you bring this to most trophy shops, they don't have a laser like this. Um, they have a cheap little laser that does engraving and sometimes it does something strange, sometimes it doesn't. If they go over something more than once, well you're going to notice it because it can't go over the same spot twice. It's going to be a little bit off each time. That could be because their machine is out of alignment, uh, their, their table is not flat. There's a lot of small little issues that we simply can, cannot afford to have happen for our customers. And because of that, if you want something like this done, it's absolutely perfect. I'll see you in the next video.